Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the condenser water pump. I'm going to uh, talk about the components, the parts, and the startup of the condenser water pump. First of all, the components. We have the motor here. We have the motor shaft, the pump shaft, the coupling, Coupling is where it uh, attaches the uh, motor shaft and the pump shaft together to drive the pump. Over here, we have the mechanical seal inside, where it keeps the water seal inside so it won't have any leakage because the shaft goes straight into the pump. And the pump we have here, above this line here, there's the pump casing. And over here, we have the check valve. The check valve uh, allows the water to flow one way. So in here, which means the water flow this way, so the water won't flow back. And up here, we have two isolation valve. These two isolation valve is the one of these are discharge, and this is suction. They are butterfly valve. And this side is a suction line. In the section line, we have the strainer where uh, strain the any sediment or dirty stuff before it hits the pump and damage the pump. And this is discharge line where you always have to check valve over here. And on the top of the pump, we have this uh, vent valve, sometimes being called a pickup. And this line is the reserve line. The reserve line is uh, attached to uh, the end of the, both the side of the pump to uh, recirculate the water to uh, keep the bearing cool. And in the back we have the electrical panel. The, you have the breaker and the push button, start and stop, and the indicator light. So to start up, it's very simple. You uh, make sure your breaker is off, switch is off, and uh, make sure your valves are fully shut. And the first step is make sure the discharge is fully shut, fully open the suction uh, valve, check the strainer, make sure the strainer is clean. Go over here in the panel. Rip the breaker, hit the start button, and the light should come on. If the light don't come on, you might have some electrical problem here. Then you might open the electrical closet and check maybe a burn fuse or maybe you have no power. After that, if the light comes on, your motor should come on. You will hear the sound. And once it comes on, you slowly open the discharge valve. Once the discharge valve is open, you check the gauges for the differential pressure. Sometimes you will have to vent the air out from the pickup valve if you have any air in here. And then that should be it. That's the procedure to start it up. Thank you for watching.